Yes, members, you are most welcome once again. As usual, Saddam Hussein, the mathematics teacher, and on YouTube, Basic Mathematics Simplified. So, today we want to look at multiplication using lattice method. A simple way of multiplying numbers, even if they're as big as what? Children can easily multiply and find the answers without any much problem. Now, we have the first number, that is 205 multiplied by 35. 205 multiplied by 35. So, these uh, squares are drawn. You can see we have, uh, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, then 1, 2, 3. Now, in the first four up here, what do we do? In the first one, since the, the first one is three digits, so we are going to put two here. We put zero, five. One box is left here. That box left is where you are going to put the multiplication sign. Then, under multiplication sign, we are multiplying by 35. So under that, you put three here, then you put five. That is how we can arrange it. The first one is three digits and the second one is two digits. So we are multiplying uh, 205 by 35. Now, the first thing that you're supposed to do here, after you have represented them like that, the other thing now is to divide the remaining boxes into twos. Like here, you divide this one like that. You also divide this one like that. You also divide that one like that. You divide the remaining squares. You divide them into two halves. Even here, like that. The remaining squares, after filling the uh, upper ones, that's what we do. Then, the next thing that I will request you to do here is you will multiply three multiplied by five. We get 15. So 15, you write one in the upper half, then five in the downer half. That is what uh, we do there. Then, this marker is not right. You multiply 3 by 0. Remember, 3 multiplied by 0, 0 multiplied by any number is 0. So under this, you write 0. Even here, you write 0. Then 3 multiplied by 6, it is 6. Meaning that under this one, you write 0. Then here, 6. What does this one mean? This one is under 1s, then this is 10s. When you divide the box into 2, the other part of the box, the downer one, you write answers under 1s, that's place value of 1s, then the upper one you write under 10s. That's why we're saying 3 times 5 is 15. 5 is under 1s and 1s under 10s. So 1 goes up, 5 comes down. 3 times 0 is 0, 0. So you write 0, 0 in the two boxes. 3 times 2 is 6. Now, 6 is only under 1s. So under 10s, we have nothing. That's why we've put there 0. Then you come to the next number, which is this one. 5 multiplied by, again, all these numbers up. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. 25. 5 multiplied by 0 is 0. 0, 0. 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. 1, 0. Remember I told you, the downer half of the box is under 1s. The upper one is under 10s. Now, after filling all the boxes like that, what next? What you're supposed to do here is you now write answers under each half. Like this half here, we write here 5. Then these halves which are under this diagonal, you add them diagonally as you can see 5 plus 2 plus 0 is 7 you put the answer there then under this diagonal that you are seeing here 
1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. Then, under this diagonal that you're also seeing here, 0 plus 6 plus 1 is 7. Under this one also, 0. So when you're writing your answer, you write it from that side coming to the right-hand side. Therefore, your answer now will be this 0 is neglected, 7, 1, 7, 5. When you multiply 205 times 36, I mean times 35, you should be able to get 7,175. That is what we do there. Just very simple, as you can also see. That is example 1. Then example 2, we have 79. We have 79. I told you, the first one, you write them in these boxes. 7 goes there. 9 comes here. Then the box left up there, after this in the same line, is for the sign. Then down it, you write the remaining a number that you're multiplying by, which is 64. You write 6, then 4. I told you after that, you divide the remaining boxes in two halves. This one you divide, this one you divide, this one you divide, and this one you also divide. Then after that, we now go to the uh, real working. What is 6 multiplied by 9? When you multiply 6 by 9, you get 54. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 2 is 54. Then what is uh, 6 multiplied by 7? You get 42. Then you come back here to 1s. What is 4 times 9? You get 36. Then 4 times 7 is 20. Eight. I told you that the downer halves are for ones and the upper ones are for tens. That's why when you said six times nine is fifty-four, you write four, you group, four, you write five here under tens, then four under ones. Then after that, you now follow its diagonal. You add them. This is six. What is four plus three? Seven. Seven plus eight uh, is fifteen. You write five. You don't write fifteen here. You bring one. You regroup one up here. So this is 1 plus 5, which is 6. 6 plus 2, which is 8. 8 plus 2, which is 10. You write is 0. You regroup 1. So what is 1 plus 4? Is it 5. So you write your answer from there coming. So your answer is 5, 0, 5, 6. Meaning that 79 times 64 is 5,056. That is as simple as that. And I expect... Uh, members should be there following uh, the viewers, our good learners are following. That is how you will do it. Now, my exercise is very simple. I want you to multiply for me these numbers, uh, which is 6,176. I mean 617 multiplied by 62. Then number three, number, okay, this was number three. Number four is... 49 multiplied by 58. So you do for me these two numbers and, and see whether you have understood how to use that method. Thank you very much for attending. As usual, we shall always have these lessons here and I appreciate you so much for being with me from the beginning up the end. May the Almighty God bless you. Keep subscribing our viewers for more lessons. Thanks.